We will start off by teaching you three consonants. This will be followed by three vowels. And lastly, you'll do some basic reading exercises in which you'll read your first six real words. Not every Thai consonant makes a unique sound. In fact, there are four which make an S sound. This means consonants cannot be uniquely identified by the sounds that they make. To overcome this issue, every consonant is given a unique name. In this demonstration, we will tell you the name of the consonant, but we want you to only focus on remembering the actual sound which the consonant makes. This consonant is called Go Gai. Go Gai makes a G sound. On the left hand side, we have the actual consonant, and on the right hand side, we have the mnemonic image, which helps us to remember the sound that this consonant makes. The consonant can be seen as a golfer if we add a head and a golf club. The word golfer will help us to remember the g sound that this consonant makes. Spend a moment taking note of the features of both the consonant and the mnemonic. This consonant is called jo jan. Jo jan makes a j sound. It is easy to remember the j sound that this consonant makes because the consonant itself looks like a j. Spend a moment taking note of the features of both the mnemonic and the actual consonant. This letter is called bo by mai. Bo by mai makes a b sound. The character can be pictured as a bucket full of leaves. This will help you remember the b sound that it produces. Spend a moment taking note of its features. Now we're going to quickly review the three consonants which we have learnt so far. Try to recall the sound that the first consonant makes. If you're having troubles, try to recall the mnemonic which we introduced to you earlier. The first consonant makes a g sound. We can remember this because it looks like a golfer if we add a head and a golf club. Now try to recall the sound that the second consonant makes. The second consonant makes a j sound. We can remember this because it looks like the j character. Now try and recall the sound that the third consonant makes. The third consonant makes a b sound. We can remember this because it looks like a bucket full of leaves. Each vowel's name consists of two parts. The first part is the word sara, which means vowel. The second part is the actual sound which the vowel makes. So if a vowel made an E sound, it would be called sara E. If a vowel made an O sound, it would be called sara O. A vowel is not always placed to the right of a consonant as it is in English. Some vowels are placed above, below, or all around the consonant. Vowels are always pronounced after the consonant regardless of their position. When presenting a vowel, we will present it with a grayed out consonant to show you where the consonant is placed relative to the vowel. This vowel is called sara e. It makes a short e sound. We can easily remember the sound that it makes because it looks like the top section of a lowercase e. Don't forget it is only presented with a grayed out consonant to demonstrate its relative position. Spend a moment noting its features. This vowel is called sara e. It makes a long e sound. We can easily remember the sound that it makes because it looks like the top section of a lowercase e character. The extended vertical line helps you to remember that it makes a long sound. Don't forget it is only presented with a grayed out consonant to demonstrate its relative position. This vowel is called sara Ah, it makes a long ah sound. As you can see, sara ah is placed to the right of the consonant. We can picture this character as a lowercase a, which is missing the loop. This will help us remember the ah sound that it makes.